Hey, good evening. We're going to start tonight with breaking news. Within the last couple of hours, the CDC and the Indiana Department of Health have announced that a virus new to the U.S. is right here in Indiana. MERS, or the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, first surfaced two years ago. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers joins us now. And Aaron, you listened in on a CDC news conference about an hour ago. What's the latest? I did, and it's important to note that health officials just got test results back this afternoon, confirming that the patient does have MERS, a deadly disease with symptoms symptoms like coughing, shortness of breath, and high fever. MERS-CoV is a virus that surfaced in Saudi Arabia two years ago, but it's not known how it originated. Currently, there are more than 300 people in 12 countries infected with it, and 93 of those people have died. Because it's early on in the investigation, officials aren't releasing many details about the case in the U.S. We do know the patient was a health care provider in Saudi Arabia, and on April 24th, the person flew from Saudi Arabia to London then from London to Chicago, and took a bus from Chicago to Munster. On the 27th, the patient started feeling symptoms and was admitted to the hospital the next day. It's relatively um, soon since this person returned to the United States, and we're um, closely looking at the context since they've returned here. Of course, in these situations, we're in close contact with our international partners who are doing other parts of this investigation. Health officials say they are working closely to notify people who may have come in contact with the person. And tonight at 6, I'll tell you why health officials think it's a low risk to the general public.